fiancevisaservices.com, your personal immigration guide. Hi, I am Fred Wall. Today's question is, what should you remember and learn if your fiancé visa is denied? Well, the fiancé visa interview is the final hurdle for the fiancé visa petition process. Sometimes, despite one's best efforts, the answer is no. If that should happen to you, these are my suggestions. First, be sure to confirm what is your status. Are you really denied or just on hold? Ask questions to clarify, such as, what should I tell my fiancé? Why have I been denied? Is there anything that can be done? And as soon as possible, take notes and write down for later review every question and comment made by the counselor officer. Write down, for instance, oh, write down also what you said too. Try to recall the counselor officer's body language. You know, what topics did he pay the most attention to? And what did he ask for more details about? And how did he react to your answers? Was he friendly, doubtful, suspicious, cold? What happened and when did the atmosphere change? Write this down too. Review with a knowledgeable immigration officer or expert like me, all that happened during the interview. Work together to decide what went wrong? And what were the issues, so-called red flags, that led the consular officer to his negative decision? Then, armed with this knowledge, plan your next move. Usually you have two choices, appeal or abandon this first petition in favor of correcting the problem and starting over with a new petition. While it is possible to pursue an appeal and a ruling from USCIS, typically it takes a year or longer to get the final answer. And, well, consular decisions regarding visa issuance are rarely, if ever, overturned. An effective course for most people, and a faster course, is to re regroup, to learn, to identify, correct, and resubmit. This is Fred Wall, your personal immigration guy. For your free copy of 120 must-have visa interview questions, visit fiancevisaservices.com forward slash free.